Bob Reuter is perhaps one of St. Louis's most infamous personalities, an integral part of the local music scene both as a player and purveyor of rock and roll. Currently the lead singer, songwriter, and creative force behind this band, Alley Ghost. Bob also shares his vintage vinyl collection every Friday on KDHX FM Radio's program, Bob Scratchy Records. With a musical career spanning nearly five decades, it's no surprise that in 1997, Bob turned his interest into photography. His grainy, hand-developed black and white photographs have become a barometer for what's hip in a city where its moods shift as quickly as the weather. These photos have become subject for several art shows, and many were recently published in a collection entitled Light, Fuse, and Run. Bob has been chronicling his memories and ventures via these informal letters and notes, and he has posted them on his website and personal Facebook page. It seemed like everyone I knew was some form of mangled mutation. Collectors of rats and mice or Nazi memorabilia, needle users, gas huffers, come to the door naked with panties on the headers. Aaron Wiles of the St. Louis Project's publishing imprint read these and recognized their promise. To give you a little background on the St. Louis Projects, we are an imprint of JK Publishing, which is a small, independent, Midwestern publisher with international affiliations. Uh, we usually keep to small print runs of 50 to 200 copies. Uh, we print all of these in-house by hand, every single book. We collate the pages by hand and then bind them by hand using stitch, uh, staple, or rivets. Most of these books are of poetry or short fiction and therefore around 60 pages or less. Tales of a Talking Dog is a work of nonfiction of over 150 pages. It's definitely a beast of a different nature. It's a full length book. So like other small publishers, we have decided to outsource the printing of this book and released our first ever Perfect Bound title. Riding home from band practice out in North County, ripped out of our minds, we cranked up the radio to hell and back with some kind of white noise frequency. It would accelerate and decrease in time with the changes of the gears of the big ass Pontiac engine. Whopper sauce smeared across my mouth, Taco Bell flavored puke that was set off by two green ditch weed reefer. I first read Bob's writing as notes he posted to Facebook, and it's really incredible to me that what I see as a lasting work of literature uh, was born out of the seemingly ephemeral, ultimately casual means of communication. I really believe that he falls in line with this great tradition of uh, beat generation authors that would just write plainly and frankly about their friends that were in these underground art scenes. While putting this project together, we realized that it was financially and logistically a little out of our reach and beyond our previous projects. Therefore, we have decided to reach out to you, his audience, for financial help, and that's why we have created this Kickstarter project. 